Last week on Sledhead 24-7, we met Chris. I've actually never snowmobiled ever. This will be my first time, my first time learning, my first time getting out on the snow. For his first lesson, I took Chris to meet two-time world champion oval racer PJ Wondershide. Well, I think it's the end of our tour. Chris, I think you're ready. And if you're lucky, maybe at the end of the season you get a little more experience, I'll let you drive my sled. That will be awesome. And this week, Chris's real education begins. So my snowmobile safety training CD came in the mail today and uh, it's basic safety guidelines for snowmobile and how fast you can go, where you can actually snowmobile and basic snowmobile and tips. And then at the end it gives you a 35 question test which you can only get two wrong out of 35. And I'm kind of nervous because it took me a couple tries to get my license test back when I was 16 so this will be a, a big challenge. Chris, this is very serious. In order for you to drive a snowmobile legally in Minnesota, you have to pass this test. Are you ready? I'm ready. So when I was studying for the test, Misha was sitting there along with me trying to coach, but it was more uh, abuse than anything else. Now I need you to focus. You need to want to pass this. I can't make you. She really gave me a hard time as far as going along, putting pressure on me to pass the test. Just don't look. Do you wear a scarf while snowmobiling? Good. It made me realize that this is something I need to take seriously as far as safety goes. I'm not your mother! No, I can't take this anymore. I'm out of here. She wasn't messing around. Misha, I'm done. That's a D. 68% is a D. <laughs> a D plus. And this is not acceptable if you want to ride and race. We have work to do. At this point, I thought Chris could use some extra help. So I invited veteran cross-country racer Amy Norby to be his tutor. I'm Amy Norby, and I've been riding snowballs for about 25 years. My specialty is cross-country racing, which is just like riding on the trails, but you're actually in a race. It's through ditches, through woods, on rivers, um, pretty much anywhere in the country. When Amy came, she went over some of the basic guidelines as far as rules, uh, regulations, uh, little tips. All right, Chris, well, let's get some hands-on experience. You can use my daughter Presley's sled here. How about if you've got two people behind you in those mittens? Right here, you just give them out of sledders are behind you, so I have three up right now. OK, that's great, except now you've stopped because you let your hand off the gas. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so we got there are a lot of things that new riders don't actually think about. Um, they think they can just get on their sled and go riding, but there are some basic safety and equipment things you want to make sure you check. There are a lot of basic things, even in trail riding, that you can learn and take into racing. Another thing we're going to have to do is help you with your wardrobe there. Oh, yes. I really don't <laughs> think that you're going to look too cool on the trails. No. <laughs> so what kind in of your things? tennies and your mittens and your fleece jacket. She was very helpful, and I think it'll bringing me a long way on the, on the test. Will you get off my snowmobile? Do I have to? I do? Get off. Man. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready to go. With the safety certification test out of the way, Chris can now legally ride a snowmobile. To find out what the rules are for you, you can visit your state's DNR website.